I would snow. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? About that much. Is that enough? I don't know. Let's go get more. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And we are going to chop us some wood here. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, yeah. So, hello, how are you doing? It is almost Christmas. And it is Hanukkah. Hanukkah started on Tuesday night, I believe. Christmas is in just over a week. So the holidays are in full effect. Hope yours are going well. I'm doing all right. It's a stressful time. And it's, it'd be nice just to, you know, get past it all. Traffic in LA is always worse at the end of the year. Um, and, and then it seems to like magically go away at uh, when Christmas is past, or New Year's, I guess, is past. Uh, it's because it's the whole holiday season that brings it out. Don't know why. And maybe it's just, just a, an illusion. Maybe it's just me. Whoa. That was weird. Maybe it's just me. Oh, the sun's going down. Not what I wanted. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll ouch, we'll figure it out. Let me, let me collect some of the stuff here and then we'll go, uh, we'll go do something. That I think will be interesting. So after some consideration, I decide I might as well just grow a tree and take the risk. So I need some bone meal. Will that be enough? We'll find out. The angle's a little weird, but I think it's clear what I'm doing. Um, I am making a Christmas tree. So this part's a little tedious and it takes a ton of leaves. You forget how much a volume of uh, blocks are. Whoops. Uh, you're in the right place, but I'm going to take you out for now. Um, it takes a lot of leaves to make a big solid volume like this. And it's pain in the butt working with leaves because they're, you can see through them. All right, so, uh, so I'm doing this a little blindly. I'm kind of doing it on the fly, which is not super awesome, but uh, I did not, I haven't had a lot of spare time lately with the holidays and everything. Uh, the approaching things get really busy and it's supposed to be this sort of vacation holiday time and you end up getting so busy with work just to get everything done so that you can take the holiday time and ends up not being very relaxing it's it's uh not awesome um i really so i've been telling everyone that i just kind of want the holidays to be over <laughs> like let's uh let's just be done with 2017 and uh how far do we go um uh, i forget i'm using plots this website if you haven't seen this website uh it's it's kind of the standard for people needing to make circles and stuff in minecraft there we go it's got ellipse generators and it's got all kinds of other stuff so this here goes out one to the side fill this in and then two that goes out one side and one two there we go super easy ah uh, so i haven't uh, as i said i haven't been i haven't had a lot of time to sort of plan stuff mostly it's been just take care of stuff you need to do before the holidays, which involves uh, things like buying presents, booking travel, figuring out when you're going to, uh, in my case, I had a, a car that I had been leasing that the lease is up in right after a couple of days after Christmas, which is not super convenient timing. So I've got... I had to figure out when to return that and get get a new car. 
which is awesome. I like my new car. Um, it's basically the same as the old one, but it's got some new features, which is kind of, which are kind of awesome. Um, mostly their safety features, which put it in the uh, sort of level one autonomous vehicle category. And that at all, if I, if it looks like I'm going to run somebody over, it will step on the brakes for me, which I think is pretty cool. And if I start veering out of my lane, it will steer me back into the lane, <laughs> which, uh, which I think is great. I think the more safety features like that, the better. Because driving's a pain in the butt. And, and humans aren't very good at it. So there we go. Let's see what this looks like from down below. <laughs> it looks funny. Yeah, huh, that's right. It doesn't look, it doesn't look great. So I may play around a little bit with design and do it, but I think it'll be fine. I think it will be obvious that it is a Christmas tree. So I'm using glowstone here as Christmas lights. Unfortunately, can't put, uh, oops. You can't put torches on top of leaves. I know, sort of traditional old school uh, Christmas decoration involve putting candles on the, on the leaves, which I think would be really cool. And I could, I suppose bury some sort of like green wool or something inside uh, in order to try and do that. I may try that. I went and got some wool. Oops. I went and got some red and, and yellow wool in order to make uh, little ornaments. Let's see how well that works. Uh, oops. But. Let's get this. Let's get this all lit up here, and hardly anyone's going to see this top part here, so I don't need to go too crazy. Oops. Uh, try to put it here. We want it to look somewhat random, but not uh, not too. Uh, but we want it to be even, <laughs> which is a little tricky. All right. So this I can put this one here. And then tree topper, which I have an idea for. But let's get this sorted out first. And again, I, I don't think anyone's gonna see this stuff up here. If I had more time to sort of, if I felt like I had more time to plan this stuff a little bit better, um, I would probably, let's put one here. Probably try something a little different, but it's going to take some redstone to do, and it's going to be a little tricky. So it might be what I do next year. Um, in, I live in a neighborhood in Los Angeles where there are oh wait, where there are um, ow. Where there are, uh, uh, there's a fair number of Filipino people, and they have these stars, these lit stars, uh, lanterns. They call them Christmas lanterns, and they're, I believe, they're called Peril. Um, and I'm probably not I'm completely slaughtering that pronunciation, but uh, and they are little five pointed stars that light up, and they hang them outside. And for the longest time, we kind of wondered where they came from. And I recently found out and found out what they are, which is pretty cool. Ow, um, ow. Okay, let's get on the leaves here. Ow, screw this. Um, and so, they're, and generally speaking, they're, they're nice and blinky. Um, they've got blinking Christmas lights on the inside. They're, Usually the frames are metal and they're covered in like cellophane or stained glass for the expensive ones. And 
this is this is sort of the the Filipino Christmas trad decorating tradition and they they go up there we go oh that looks pretty cool we'll see how it looks at night but that looks pretty cool I'm kind of happy with that so let's put on some ornaments so these these lanterns go up in September and they stay up through Christmas which is interesting um, so I would I'm would be kind of interested in trying to build one of those but I want the blinking lights and and so that means glowstone and um, you know red redstone lamps and and redstone a redstone clock sort of make it all do its thing um, which is probably entirely doable in the right environment I just need to figure that out okay so there's some red ornaments so let's let's place a couple of yellow ones and these yellow ones oh I have to make sure that none of these things are spawnable okay yeah oh I wonder if it would be worthwhile putting torches on top of the ornaments Maybe that's how I get my Maybe that's how I get my hey um, candles okay I need them lower as well I could put one there cool I think that looks kind of festive I've got a couple more things to try let me get these upper ones and we'll ow okay let me concentrate here a little bit and then we'll uh there we go I'll be right back so as I already said building this on with a double like two by two uh, trunk kind of uh, kind of makes it difficult to place a topper like this boo all right you know what what should we we should give the beacon something right we should give it regen maybe just just to be nice regen oops pick up okay oh you know what <laughs> um, do I I don't need we don't need any of these just need that is that a good color I don't know we'll find out if I need to we can come back up let's take down the scaffolding let's see how this looks in the nighttime which it is now uh oh did I accidentally take down part of the tree there I hope not there we go we're not done yet I'm gonna need that scaffolding back do you approve okay okay like I have another idea let's try this if we take some of these iron blocks that I have here that make iron bars out of them that was probably too many but hey I think we can make them look kind of like tinsel I don't know we'll see this might be dumb this probably should be mostly from the ends of the branches right I don't know Um, yeah, all right, let me put up some of these and we'll take a step back and see how it looks because it might look really dumb. <laughs> that definitely looks dumb. Oh, hello, dude. 
Where'd you come from? I don't know. Where did you come from? So we have our tree, ornaments, lights, icicles. Uh, now we need... We need snow. So let me... I'm just going to put snow in here. I took out some of the torches around the tree. Whoops. That's okay. And we will see how far out I can get this snow and a little skirt. The snow should stop stuff from spawning because it's not a solid block. Alright. At least that's the hope. And we can give it a little texture with different uh, layers. Oops. Is that right? Is that what we want? No, not at all. Of course, pickaxe is the wrong tool. Alright. And of course, I could get some white wool, I guess. And we could use the white wool to uh, to get much of the same effect. Where's that? The icicles make it a little difficult to move around. Okay, so I've got some snow here. We have crafting table over here. Let's uh, wait a pressure place. Snow. Pop. Ah, good. So all the torches, all the lighting around here to keep things safe from, from mob spawning sort of uh, makes things a little difficult in terms of trying to keep snow down. So I think the snow needs, like I might be able to get it out here. Oops, that's fine. Ah, um, oh, there's icicles are in the way. So this, I went out one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's go out five and see what we can do. Um, and then these torches will melt some of the stuff, but we'll, we'll just see what we can get. Oh, I saw something melt right there. See, there's a light level 12 here because of these torches. That's fine. It doesn't have to be perfectly round or perfect in any way. So we're just going to lay down what we can. And... It's the ones that'll melt. Okay. So we'll just get some snow laying around like it snowed, <laughs> which is kind of redundant. This guy, so these um, block light 10, 10, 11. Okay, cool. So we can just put down a little extra snow here and there. All right, that looks nice. So we have our little winter scene. There we go. Cool. As I said, the snow blocks, I think, because they're not solid blocks, will prevent stuff from spawning. So I could take out more torches, I suppose, but we will see. We'll have to see how well that works. So there we go, Christmas tree. So I want to wish everybody happy holidays. Um, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Just have a happy, safe, and healthy ho a holiday season because it really should be a happy and relaxing time, even though it often isn't. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Again, have a happy holidays, and I will see you next time, probably after the new year. Right? Bye.